Hello, everyone. My name is David, and this is... This is Ellie. Okay, and today we're going to do our first combined book review and analysis. Oh, my God. Oh my god, what a tool. And <laughs> today we're going to be going over uh, chapter uh, 6, I think. Chapter 5. You know, it's one of those chapters. It's probably chapter 5. Chapter 6. You already did chapter 5. Okay, yeah, it's chapter 6. Um, so, and just so you know, uh, this is going to be a first, so be gentle. Alright, so the first thing we're going to go over is Katniss. What do you think of Katniss? I think she is a great um, woman. That other women should strive to be like illogical, no emotion. See, tro- not in the kitchen though, so that's a flaw. That's true. That's true. Spoken, spoken like a true woman. Um, so yeah, today we're going to talk about some things that she did in this chapter, and one contributes to her being a sociopath. Now let me ask you, Ellie, would you ever ask yourself, um, is this what a friend would do? Is this what a normal person would do? Actually, yes, I would. I know. That's sad. So. Uh, to explain, Peta was gonna give her his jack, uh, um, Katniss his jacket because it was cold, and she asked herself, "Would a friend accept this? Is that does that that's what friends do, right?" So I thought that was contributed a little bit to her being a little bit, you know, a little bit of an emo, anti emo. So just something to point out. How she at first she was like, "Oh, what is this? I don't have to do here. Kindness? How do I react to this?" Maybe, um, I was going to say maybe she has no friends and that's true, but she has Gail. Maybe Gail just never offered her his jacket. I bet you he offered her something else. (laughs) Okay, so, um, so let's talk about, uh, the Avix. And to give a little quick description, the Avix are basically traitors of the capital that have their tongues cut out and they're usually, I guess, the kids and they serve... You know, basically the capital now, they have no no tongues, and they have to do whatever they say. They're not allowed to even be spoken to, unless it's to give an order. So it's pretty fucked up. Now, what do you think of them? Uh, yeah, that would be really sad. Do you want one in your home? Uh, I do, actually. Okay. Very much. Okay, okay. So, um, one particular avix Katniss recognizes, which is weird... And, you know, she recognizes them, but she didn't know that she was a traitor. And then when she realizes that she's, they're a traitor, she kind of gets like, oh, shit, maybe I shouldn't be saying I recognize a traitor. You know, they could find out something. So then uh, she eventually goes and talks to Peta about this. But why don't you go ahead and explain the um, the girl that she recognized? Why don't you explain that story for me, Ellie? All right. Well, um, a long time ago. Oh, okay. A long time ago, uh, Cadness and Gail were... Uh, hanging out in the woods, chilling, and they saw this girl and a guy running away. And, um, I, <laughs> I, okay. And then a hovercraft came down and shot the guy in the chest and carried him off and then captured the girl. And before she got carried off, she caught Cadmus's eye. They made eye love for a second there. And, um, well, Katniss didn't do anything because what is she going to do? Like, jump out at the hovercraft with her bow and arrows. So she just watched her get carried off. It's very sad. Indeed. It kind of turned me on. But um, it is very sad. And it sucks that that happened. And, you know, obviously Katniss feels some kind of remorse, like guilty. Like, you know, she's like, wow, you know, I was probably her last bit of hope. And I just sat there while she got taken up by the aliens, obviously. Right. Okay. So... I found that pretty depressing. I can actually understand her more. I'm not going to call her illogical, even though, like you said in our first take, that, um, you know, uh, she couldn't really do anything. And you said it now. But, you know, she still blames herself. And I think that's actually kind of cool. I mean, she actually does feel something. It's it's a start. Well, yeah, that's definitely cool. I would blame myself, too, if I didn't even attempt to um, save her. But Katniss says that the girl must want me dead. I don't think the girl wants you dead. Like, the girl probably understands if she is rational um that like she is also a victim of the government she's a bitch of the government so she can't really do anything yeah that's true but you know it kind of shows that it doesn't matter what you're doing it's about what you're feeling inside that can make you feel guilty that's true yes it is i'm so right okay so um so and then yeah then i guess she was talking to Peter about this you know and Peter was like you know why do you think she left 
and she could the uh you know P- uh, Cadness couldn't understand you know why that girl ran away from the Capitol. And the, the person that ran away, you know, it wasn't said, but Cadness was like, well, they look like Capitol people with the clothes and everything. So, you know, she couldn't understand why would someone from the Capitol run away because they have everything. Why do you think she ran away? <laughs> Is Cadness retarded? Obviously, well, not uh, okay. Probably she ran away because she disagrees with how the government works and how they murder people and just, like, suppress everyone. But they get food instantly. Oh, you're right. So that makes everything okay. I mean, what else could you possibly care about other than food in your stomach? Why do you think the Holocaust is okay? (laughs) All right. Let's move on to better things like PETA. What could be better than the Holocaust, though? Uh... Okay, so the first Holocaust, the real Holocaust that's going to happen. Anyway, so let's talk about PETA, my knight in shining armor. So let's talk about how kind he is. He, Like I said earlier, he gives Katniss a jacket so she will stay warm. Clearly, PETA has a boner for her. I mean, come on now. And you know, another thing that's funny that happens is that he... um. You know, she, when they were talking about that girl that ran away, he said that he would run away from the Capitol to beat it in District 12. And it kind of shows that, you know, even though it's so nice here, he would still not want to be here. And I like that a lot. You know, be in the Capitol. He would actually rather be in District 12 back home. Hmm. What do you think of that? Um, well, I think that's understandable. I don't think it's weird or anything. I think it's good that he actually thinks like that. It's not really a hard thing to, like... Uh, it's not a hard conclusion to come to. I don't know why Katniss is being so stubborn about it. A very profound statement. <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah, it's true. All right, and um, another thing that I think is funny that happens in this is that um, uh, you know, they do kind of bond a little bit. I like how they're starting to get to know each other and they're sharing memories, and you know, it's kind of cute. You know, it shows that maybe they uh, might get together one day. Or not, so I don't know. I don't know. I think it's probably a strategy by PETA to get Katniss to like her and then and then rape her and kill her. That could very well be true. I don't think that's true, but we'll see. Okay, so, and then it's kind of funny. Uh, you know, this is a typical, I've done this before as a guy, and I'm sure, you know, you've done this as a girl. Maybe not. No one likes you besides, you know, I'm sorry. I'm joking. Anyway, um, so, okay, uh, he was a little bit jealous of Gail. He was like, oh, Gail, oh, is that your cousin? Oh, yeah, a lot of guys, girls talk about him, and uh, yeah, they always say you're pretty familiar with each other and everything. Do you hang out a lot? Or oh, and you know, he starts asking, and she's like, you know, she's all like, oh, yeah, whatever, normal questions. These are normal questions, okay? And she doesn't even hint on the fact that he's going like, oh, uh, who is he to you, basically? What? Uh, you know, and then what do you think of this? If you were in her position, would you just completely miss that he's asking if you have a boyfriend? Well, if I was me, then probably. Okay, okay. Well, if I was Katniss and I was completely unaware of my emotions, then I would be completely unaware that I kind of like Gail. I mean, obviously, I hang out with him like every single day of my life, and I'm like, oh, yes, Gail, I love you so much. So obviously, I would miss that. Um, I think like what PETA did is like I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't just be like, oh, well, who do you like? Who do you have? Because for to me, that seems like he's just, I don't know, like forcing his desires on her with his questions. But I guess that's okay. He's going to die. And like, he's pretty open with his emotions. So it's not bad. I'm just saying that, like, I, it wouldn't even occur to me to do that. Spoken like a true woman, calling the man selfish for saying his feelings. No, no, it's like a, no, it's a good d- thing. It's a good thing. No, it's, just, it's just selfish. No, no, it's like a good thing. Let's move on. <laughs> okay so that's enough of pita for now um well, enough of pita i know you can never get enough of pita so let's talk about the great um hmm so let's talk about those hovercrafts i'm kind of i was always interested in you know the future technology of the capital and it talks about how there was a toxic waste in District 11, like it was bombed. And I was always curious in how they took out District 13. Uh, yeah, District 13, that's mm-hmm. what I mean. So, you know, I'm always curious, like, to how exactly they beat all these people. And apparently they do have some future technology, these hovercrafts that are silent when they're in the air. That's pretty amazing. And now, I don't know, I can't remember if they shot a, air, uh, a net down to catch the girl or did she actually just levitate up in the air. 
Because I'm thinking it might be aliens. <laughs> so the government might actually be aliens. It's probably the same aliens that build the pyramids. They just came back to uh, um, entertain themselves. That are crab people. Tastes like crab, talk like people. Okay, so let's talk about... Um, I'm curious to see more of this too, especially in the movie. Uh, some people, you know, obviously rebel against the capital. And I think that's actually very interesting. I wonder, here's my prediction, that that girl will somehow play a part in a revolution to come. You know, I guarantee you that somehow she's going to be have a bigger role. If not, it's going to be kind of weird, like... Why would you even introduce her? I don't know. You know, it could be a reason. So, you know, I'm not going to. I think there's a reason. There's a reason to introduce her, which it just shows how much control the capital has and how, like, not only, they could, like, the capital could just kill her easily, but they make her an example. Like, they make her a slave. So, it's like, not only does it, like, own everything about you, like, as in they could kill you, but they can also just make you do absolutely everything that they want you to do. You know. I do. Um, so yeah. It is definitely one of those things. They show an example. Like how they publicly execute you. For doing things. You know. Like rebelling against the capital. Mm -hmm. It's obviously to show an example. And it kind of shows a little bit of fear. Because it, you know. If you had so much control. Just kill them. But you have to actually publicly execute. So it's. There's a reason why they want to suppress that rebellion. Maybe because they fear it. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Okay, and and it's not like you know anything because you read two books already. Shh, 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 shh. Fix it. Okay, so let's talk about um, the training center. Uh, this is basically where the tributes go to train, clearly. And there's a bunch of stations like weight training, you know, track and field and stuff. So I'm actually kind of curious to see uh, how they're going to train. And I guess Hamish is telling them that... Um, Though she's not allowed to, um, no, actually that happens in the next chapter. I'm sorry. I read a little bit ahead. Sorry. I know. So I'm not going to talk about that. didn't happen. But basically, the training center we know nothing about, yes. Um, um, so this lady, Effie, uh, she makes probably one of the best jokes ever. And she makes a joke about, um, you know, how she's so brilliant, you know, because everyone was so surprised that Katniss and Gail came out with flames and, or, uh, Peta, sorry. Uh, um, and then she, everyone was surprised and she would say to people, it's like, oh, yes, and um, guess what I said to these people? I was so clever. I said, you know, if you put enough pressure on coal, it will turn into pearls. <laughs> and she thought she was so funny and everyone was kind of forced to laugh like, oh, ha, 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 ha. What do you think of that joke? <laughs> I think it's factually incorrect. You don't know that. Yes, I, I do. I know. In the chapter, it says that that's not possible. But, hey, you know what? We don't know that. Well, it's okay. She's um, from the capital where they didn't learn any of those things. They just learned, like, pretty dresses and skin tattoos. Yes, yes. Very ignorant. Very ignorant. The hating on the capital. I'm going to start a, a parade. Capital pride. Oh. Okay. So, a little bit more about the Avix. Basically, it's someone who committed a crime against the capital, like I said. Um, they seem kind of lifeless. At first, I thought they were like little AI robots, but apparently they weren't. Um, they had their tongue ripped out so they could never speak, and they're usually young. I know I already said this, but it's just a quick recap. Do you have anything to say? That's good. Now let's move on. <laughs> um, and then the red-haired cat, uh, whatever, Avix, we don't know her name yet, it uh, ran away with a boy. And um, she definitely saw Katniss and she recognized her. And, you know, the one significance she has is this character reminds Katniss of why she's actually there. And that's to die. What do you think about that? Well, that's really depressing. If Katniss was a more optimistic person, maybe this character would remind her of yet another example of how the government has control over their lives. And she'd be like... Fuck the police. I'm going to rebel. But she goes, oh, I'm here to die, aren't I? Okay. Yeah, and I think she's getting too little, little giddy over the whole thing. You know how she's blowing kisses to the crowd and trying to dress up real fancy and wants to make a good impression and everything. To me, it's like, yeah, great. You want to win. 
but you're playing into that system. Seriously, I don't understand why they don't just go like, hey, let's all team up. Fuck the Capitol. We're going to beat them right now. Because you know what? What are they going to do? They're going to come in here with guns and shit? Well, hey, that's going to be bad for them. We're going to die anyway, right? So you know what? Might as well die fighting uh, them than each other. I mean, seriously, that makes sense to me. What do you think? Yeah, it makes sense to me too. I don't understand why they actually do it. Um, why they actually what? Why they actually play into the games. Wait, is that, are you telling me they're going to? Is that what you're saying? Don't Don't spoil it. What are you doing? Yeah, I, you are spoiling because you're saying that it's going to happen the whole time. Great. So I'm sorry. You know, she's very terrible at spoilers. I remember she spoiled so many things for me so far, but just being like, yeah, it sucks that this is going to happen. Oh, that's not a spoiler. What? It's not a spoiler. That's not a spoiler at all. What? Why would I do that? Okay, so anyway, just. um, So that kind of ruined it for me. I can't read this book anymore. I'm sorry, everyone. I know. My one viewer, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your one viewer. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I c- you can't watch me anymore. Okay, and then another thing I, kno- uh, that I thought was cool was the electric fence. That basically it stops people from jumping off buildings. And I think that'd be actually kind of cool. I'd actually jump off the building if it shot me back up. That'd be pretty cool. But apparently it shocks you, so it's not pleasant. Otherwise, I would just jump off the building and get shot back up like 50 times. It'd be like a trampoline. Anyway, I would ask you what you think, but you probably fucking spoil something. So I'm just going to go ahead and end this with myself. All right. Me. (laughs) Goodbye. I guess you can say goodbye, too.